Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to have a quick look at a new feature that's been made available in iOS 14.2. Now if you're like me, you're often out shopping with the wife and generally paying little attention and of course a song comes on in the store and you think, hey, I should add that to my Spotify list or your Apple Music list. So I fumble around on my phone, find the Shazam app and fire it up and tell it to listen. Now, because I keep the Shazam app located on the second page of my iPhone and locked inside a folder, which is, of course, no fault of anyone's except my own, there is that delay. Now, yes, I could put the icon on the dock for the fastest access, but bear in mind, if your device is locked, then you're going to have that additional step of unlocking your phone first. Well, to make accessing Shazam a little bit faster, in the latest release, iOS 14.2, Apple has made it possible for you to add Shazam to the control center. And this is cool because apps and tools in the control center can also be used when your device is locked. And because of COVID, a lot of us have to wear a mask, so this really can save a bit of time not having to even unlock your device. So it's fast, easy to locate, it works when your phone or your iPad's locked. What's not to like? So let's add it in. Now, by the way, you can do this from an iPhone or an iPad. Apple doesn't discriminate, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to show you how to do it from the iPad. The iPhone is, of course, identical. So first, let's go ahead and download it, and we'll head off to the App Store. And let's search for Shazam. There it is. We'll download that. Okay, now that it's installed, let's fire it up for the first time. Let's just click Continue. And ordinarily, we'd have to tap in the middle of our screen to listen to any music. So let's quickly do that. And in the background, we are going to have just a quick song playing. It doesn't really matter what it is. And obviously, we'll see Shazam do its thing. Okay, and there you can see the Shazam app has obviously correctly identified the music. All right, well, let's make this a little bit quicker. And we'll add this to the control center. So to do that on an iPhone or an iPad, we'll click Settings. We will then choose Control Center and we'll scroll down and choose the Music Recognition option. We'll click the little plus next to that. That'll bring it up the top here. We can now close settings. All right, now if we're out and about somewhere and we hear a terrific tune and we want to get into Shazam really fast, we'll simply swipe down. We'll click the Shazam icon and Shazam immediately is going to begin listening. Now on my iPad here, if we quickly launch Shazam again, you are going to see up in the top right, this little orange indicator showing us that something is using our microphone. Now that's another cool feature of iOS 14, by the way. And now Shazam is capturing the sound around your phone or around your iPad. It's going to send what it hears back to the service and try to determine what song's playing. So as we've seen pretty quickly, it does find the song and displays the result. Now, obviously, if you do use Shazam from the control center when your phone or your iPad's locked, it will just display a notification like this one, which is really nice. Now, one other thing I'd like to point out here is if we actually go and delete the app, after adding it to our control center, if we swipe down, we can still see it sitting there. So let's play our song again. Shazam music is still doing its thing. And there we go. It is still recognized the song, even though we've just deleted the app. So let's head back into our settings. We can see music recognition is there. Let's just remove that. And we'll swipe up. And of course, if we now go to our control center, we can see Shazam's not there. If we go and have a search. And obviously the top match is going to send us straight back to the App Store to download it. So let's go back into settings, back to our control center. We'll scroll down. We'll add back in music recognition. And obviously you can see Shazam is back there. So let's get it to listen one more time. 
And now, as you can see, we still get the same result without the actual app having to be downloaded anymore. So clicking on the notification is simply going to take us to shazam.com and obviously to a link of the music that it found. But as of iOS 14, we no longer have to download the actual Shazam app. It's going to be baked into the OS, which is great if you love it and probably neither here or there if you're not going to use it. So there you have Shazam in the control center. Now, if you're a fan of Shazamming, is that a word? To find out what songs are playing? When you're out and about, then try adding it to the control center for speedy access, even when your device is locked. So I hope you enjoyed this video, folks. Don't forget to subscribe, give this video a like, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day.